the angle of elevation is created between the ground and the line of sight looking up to an object. That angle between the ground and the line of sight is called the angle of elevation. The angle of depression is when you're at the top of an object and you look straight out and you look down. That angle of elevation is created between the horizon and the line of sight looking down. Now if you notice a few things, the ground and this horizon line are parallel to each other. Which means that the angle of elevation and the angle of depression are alternate interior angles. They're congruent to each other. They're different angles, but they are congruent to each other. Let's look at example one. A person is standing in a treehouse. I'm going to start by drawing a tree. And a house in that tree. And a person standing in that tree house. The person standing in that tree house notices a squirrel on the ground. The line of sight between that person and that squirrel is right there. The angle of depression from the person to the ground is 55 degrees. So the angle of depression is from this person looking straight out and then down to this line of sight. This angle right here is 55 degrees. The direct distance from the person to the squirrel is 15 feet. Direct distance is directly from the person to the squirrel. In this case, that direct distance is going to be this line of sight. So that direct distance is 15 feet. How tall is the treehouse? Well, in order to do this problem, we need to create a right angle. I'm going to create a right angle by dropping a line straight down to the ground and then from that point to the squirrel. So I have a right angle right here. And we're looking for how tall the tree is. So that's going to be this side over here, x. If you remember, this horizon line and this ground are parallel. So if the angle of depression is 55 degrees, it's going to be congruent to this angle down here. They're alternate interior angles, which means that they are congruent. Now to solve for x, we know this angle is 55 degrees. We know that 15 feet is the hypotenuse. And we want to solve for x. x is opposite. 55 degrees. The trig ratio that we're going to use is sine. Sine involves the opposite side and the hypotenuse. It doesn't matter about this bottom side down here. We don't need it for this problem. So the sine of 55 degrees equals the opposite side, x, over the hypotenuse, 15. Solve for x x is inside of a fraction. In order to solve for x, I'm going to cross multiply. 15 times the sine of 55 degrees equals 1 times x. So x is exactly 15 times the sine of 55 degrees, which is approximately 
rounding to one decimal place, 12.3. And in this case, x is a length of measure. It's how high the treehouse is. So it's going to be 12.3 feet. Let's look at example number two. A kite is flying 20 feet above the ground. Twenty feet is going to represent the distance from the kite straight down to the ground. The ground distance from the kite to the person flying the kite is 30 feet. Ground distance is different than direct distance. Ground distance is the distance on the ground to the person flying the kite. What is the angle of elevation? Well, the angle of elevation is going to be the angle created with the ground and the line of sight from the person to the kite. So this distance, or excuse me, this angle is the angle of elevation. I'm going to call that angle x. I have a right angle right here. And I want to solve for this angle. Across from this angle is my opposite side. And next to this angle is my adjacent side. The trig ratio that I want to use to solve for x is going to be tangent because we know the opposite side and we know the adjacent side. So tangent of x is going to equal opposite over adjacent. Now I need to solve for x. In example number two, x is inside of the tangent. To get rid of this tangent, I need to inverse tangent both sides of my equal sign. Tangent inverse and tangent undo each other. I'm left with x equals tangent inverse of 20 over 30 using my calculator to approximate that answer. Tangent inverse of 20 over 30. Rounding to one decimal place, I get 33.7. And in this case, x is an angle, so I'm going to have 33.7 degrees for the angle of elevation.